Let's go to this group, and they control a few seats at the Board of Supervisors. I mean, they're represented there. Some have said that it's really a, a combination bicycle coalition, uh, green emphasis that, uh, that looks at uh, trying to reduce the use of cars and, there, and also the restrictive housing in terms of uh, high-end uh, condo development. They're, they're at, every, at every junction, they're there with their ideology to, to, to make their case. Now, they're entitled to make that case. What would you be doing, or, or first of all, do you think they'll be successful in the long run to stifle growth through the ways they have in the courts, environmental impact reports, whatever? Or is this just a temporary stall that we're in? It's the same as their predecessors. As their predecessors did their best to stall the onslaught of newcomers, these formal newcomers are doing their best to onstall, to forestall the advent of other newcomers. It's wrong, period. They will not survive. They have actually restructured the political system, Arthur, to benefit them. The business of going to district election of supervisors, the business of restricting the powers of the mayor, the business of trying as best they can to make it easy to access the ballot. They don't encourage political participation. They don't go out registering people to vote. They don't say to newcomers, as you are sworn in as a citizen, you ought to fill out this form and register to vote. They don't say to kids graduated from high school, you ought to register to vote. We don't care how you register, but you ought to register to vote. They don't do that because it would interfere with their current political control. And it's destined to fail. It guaranteed to fail. You can't stop newcomers from helping to readdress and redesign what this system in this city is about. 